three. Oh. Kingsley and Charles Ward are farmers who've gone into the pop business, converting the outbuildings of their farm into one of Europe's best equipped recording centres. That is when Rockford became the world's first residential recording studios. We'd never been in a studio. We'd never been on a farm. Some of them lived with us. They were living in Nan's front bedroom. Freddie is in there doing the finishing touches to Bohemian Rhapsody. We turned the recording world upside down. We had an instant feeling of we can do anything here. Boy, Tonto, this huge bit of cheese in his hand. Who <laughs> <laughs> sex, drugs, and rock and roll? The 70s was a massive recession and the music business caved in completely. The Stone Roses saved Rockfield. They stayed there for 14 months. That album was called Second Coming. It was a long time coming. It was like the height of the Manchester boom. It's all a bit of a blur, really. The isolation allowed us to create our own world. You could get up to whatever you wanted. So you did. It felt mega. You're like, that's what you sort of read about. You go, fucking hell, this is what it's fucking all about. It's yeah. rock and roll, man. Everyone wanted to make the songs the best they could. If that breeded a bit of competition, then so be it. With that creativity comes high emotion. <laughs> that's when it all went a bit tits up. I was looking for a word which was like, eh, eh, yellow. I gave us our lives for the last 16 years. It's about being a part of something way bigger than you. You're a part of something else rather than just it. Very important for rock stars. Oh, fuck off. When you're going to start with your life, never give in, keep going. The best is yet to come. Rock and roll, man.